Okay, get it back together. So this is what I've done. Took the carburetor apart, blew out all jets. Also, I adjusted the float so there's more gas in the bowl. And also, I drilled out this section right here. That little vent, I drilled it out a little bit bigger and I put my air gun to it. Make sure there was nothing inside. And I think that might have solved the flow rate because I'm not noticing a difference now in the flow from the uh, from the tank into my uh, from the gas tank into my jerry can from the uh, from the gas hoses. I don't see a difference in flow whether the cap is on or not, like I did earlier on. I also blew out the lines. I, blew, I emptied the gas tank, then blew through the lines here into the tank to make sure that the lines are not pinched inside the frame. They're not. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to do, so I'm going to give it a start and see what happens. You're going to give it a... Try to start it see what happens. Okay, it did start easier. Now found another problem. All of a sudden I was over on this side to adjust adjust the jets, the, the uh, idle and the high jet, and I noticed a little bit of dripping right here. And I don't know if you just caught that by a little drop. It's leaking from here. Look. It's dripped. That's from the pet cock. I have no idea what happened there. So that could be one of my problems also. It could be sucking air through there. Not too sure going to have to fix this so uh well off comes the carburetor again okay so one of the things that i found on here let me take this light away i wonder if that's gonna be better um okay so notice it was leaking from the pet cock right here so and then when i went to try to tighten it up i noticed that um this was stripped or wasn't biting any inside anymore and this one wasn't too strong so I tapped both out and put new uh, screws right here as you can tell uh, and it seems to be nice and tight but I won't really know until I put some fuel in it so uh, let's do that let's put some gas in it yeah, I'm playing around with the uh, pet cock here from on reserve off doesn't seem to be leaking, so looks promising. Okay, so uh, we're we'll gonna her start her up and see what happens. Well, I had it running. Uh, it runs really good. Um, it's still. I need to drive it. That's the thing. I need to take it out somewhere on the trails uh, and uh, take it out and see how it runs. Uh, not very happy with the carburetor. Like it runs great idle, give it gas, runs good. I just tried up the street here and when I went from first to second and when I shipped in second gave it a bit of gas it kind of fell on its face a little bit, like bogged down. So and then I go to the gas and give it some more and it was fine. But um, yeah I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to take it out like I said somewhere it was on the trails or uh, dirt road or whatever and uh, play around with it. I don't dare do that too much out here. It's in sub I live in a subdivision so don't really want to do that here. Um, neighbors don't complain but you never know. Somebody might call the uh, police on me and that will be it. I'll get a fine for driving an off-road vehicle on the public road. But uh, right now that's it for this video. I do have a bit of a tick on the valves. I don't know what's normal, what isn't. Um, there's a website I sub subscribe to, it's called Little Honda. So a lot of good information there, a lot of people on that forum. I'm going to put a message on it and ask, you know, what's a normal tick on these things. Because uh, I did adjust the valves as per the manual at .002 and um, still getting a bit of a tick on the valve. So I'm not too sure, i got to look into it. Like. If you, let's say if I adjust at point zero zero three, does that make the valve tighter or looser? Yeah, see, I don't know. Unfamiliar with that. So, 
I'm going to have to uh, put that question out there in the forum and see uh, what they have to say. So uh, right now that's it for this video. Um, and uh, next one might be on me adjusting the valves. Depends on what the response is from the uh, website. Or next video might be of me and my daughter taking both of these out for a spin and uh, get them tuned in. That's, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching.